Lord. Come on, everybody, you've been so good. You've been so good. Come on, we're talking about our Lord and Savior. You've been so good. You've been, you've been here. Yeah, you've been so good. I just want to thank you, Lord. Come on, you've been so good. You've been so good. Oh, you've been so good. I can't say that you've been. four five people and tell them I'm happy to see you because somebody didn't wake up this morning but you did somebody's not here to be seen but you are dangerous everything that's going on in this world today you should be happy to be seen and happy to see amen miracles of faith I'm happy to be back happy to be back amen amen I've been gone. I've been gone for two weeks. <laughs> I ain't never been out my pulpit that long. <laughs> Amen. But it was, uh, so I want to thank right now in front of everybody. I want to thank the leadership. I want to thank everybody for, for making things go uh, the way that it should go. It did it. This, this just shows it's not a one man show. Amen. 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 But I thank you because I had a much needed sabbatical. Amen. I finally got some rest. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But I'm ready to preach on today. Amen. Amen. There's no, like what Dorothy said, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Amen. Amen. Acts, the second chapter. Oh, PZ, you ready today? Come on down. The Acts, the second chapter. <laughs> I mean, he ain't right on me. Acts, you must have missed me too, PZ. <laughs> Acts, the second chapter. The first through the second verse. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord. Somebody scream one accord. In one place. Ooh, say it again, scream it out. I know we're missing a lot of people, but you here and you got a voice. The Bible says life and death is in the power of your tongue. I know some of you came for a baby Christian, but you may not have known you also came for a word. Uh, uh, so scream it out, say one accord. In one place. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Can I preach the second verse? Uh, uh, and suddenly, uh, I thought y'all was ready for it. Uh, and suddenly, uh, there came a sound from heaven uh, as of a rushing mighty wind, uh, and it filled the house. Y'all not with me? Y'all not with me? I said, and it filled the house. Is there anybody that want God to fill the house? I said, and it filled the house where they were sitting. If we had to take a topic, it's all about you. Lift your hands up and say as loud as you can, fill this house. Say it again, say, fill this house. Now give God a 15 second praise only if you want God to fill this house on today. I got to ask you because I don't know is there a living church in this house because y'all know if it's a dead church we gonna get that straight before we go forth I'm gonna ask you again is there a living church in this house the bible says the living yes the living shall praise him have breath in their body because the dead don't have breath in their body. But you got breath in your body to hear a word. Let me tell you something. I don't believe in ironically or coincidentally. <laughs> There's, it, it's, it's not ironically that you're here on today. God has you here on today. You came through the storm. <laughs> Come on, talk to me. You came through the rain. I know some of you thought 
twice and said maybe I can stay home some people thought that and stayed home but you came here and because you came here God's got a blessing with your name on it if you expect the blessing lift your hands up and tell him thank you in advance tell him thank you amen Ooh. so two questions we always ask is is there a living church in the house second question is can I preach to you I cannot preach right to your life right where you are right now can I preach to you feel this house let's preach let's preach one one of the worst feelings anybody can ever have is and I need you to talk to me if, if you've been here before. I've been here before. I hate this feeling, Trina. I hate it, Mike. One of the worst feelings in the world that you could ever have is when you on the side of the road broke down. It's one of the worst feelings in, in, in the world. Because now talk to me if I'm talking, if I'm coming down your street. Because at that point in time, you feel helpless. You feel stuck. You feel frustrated. You you don't know. Watch, watch. It's so many things that start going on in your mind. You don't know how much it's going to cost to get your car fixed. Come on, talk to me. You don't know if it's going to be big, if it's, it's going to be a minor situation, if it's going to be a severe situation. You don't know if it's going to be your transmission or just you need a tune-up. You don't know what it's going to be. But at that point in time, you got a million things going on in your head. But the most thing that's going on in your head, Tawana, is you can't get to where you were going. Because in order for you to be in the car, Talk to me, Greg. Talk to me about it. Means you had a destination that you were going to. You had somewhere that you had to get. And a lot of times we had to get there by a certain time. Ooh, talk to me. You had to get there by a certain time. But you stuck on the side of the road. Feeling helpless. Frustrated. Angry. Because you can't do nothing. Ooh. All you can do is call for help. Am I in the house? But, 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 see, because there could be a plethora of things that's wrong with your car. Because your car, I need a praiser to catch this, Karen. Your, your, your car, Teresa, is just like a ministry. It's many members of one body. So it's many things that could be wrong. And, and just like other things in our life, the car is the same way. One thing can go wrong for a certain period of time and affect something else. But whatever it is, it don't change the fact you stuck on the side of the road. Woo. And, and, and watch this. And a lot of times when we stuck on the side of the road, that ain't where we initially got stuck at. Ooh, come on, talk to me. You were stuck in the road at first. You weren't on the side of the road and you had to get somebody to help you to push your car to the side of the road because you were stuck. Watch this, you were stuck. You were broke down but didn't know what the problem was. But something that, that could make it even worse when you stuck on the side of the road or you broke down <laughs> oh talk to me it's when the reason you are stuck is because you ran out of gas <laughs> oh it's tight but it's right <laughs> see 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 why why talk to me living church because something mechanically wrong with your car greg something mechanically wrong with your car tawana or mike is is it, it, it's the car's fault am i right <laughs> but when you run out of gas uh, she preaching with me <laughs> When you run out of gas, talk to me somebody. I said, when you run out of gas, it's your fault. See, 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 when we run out of gas, it's our fault because the car has a gas meter. The car has a gas meter and it lets us know when we are on E. That's my word. It lets us know 
when we don't eat your butt. <laughs> it's at that time that this statement has came out of all of our mouths concerning our gas hand and I know who you are because I need you to say something smile point at me or something when it's on E this statement comes out of our mouth I know my car I must be right she laughed he, he, she pointed at me she pointed at me back and said like, yeah. I, 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 I know my car we even got a nerve talk to me talk. we even got a nerve to tell the person Cause, cause a lot of us got newer cars, so, so the hand just when the hand go to E, it don't just go to E, but some come up and say, "Gas running low." My car, my, my, my car tells me, "Greg, did you need me to look up near gas stations?" Seriously, it, it come up on the screen. Need me to look up near gas stations? And if I press yes, it'll say, uh, BP, 2.5 miles, 7-Eleven, 3.1 miles. My car like, Doc, you ain't go. You going to take care of me. <laughs> Can't say it's my fault. I'll let you know. So, so, but, but, but it, it's at that point in time when, 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 when that gas hand gets on E, we, we, we say, I know my car. I need a praiser to talk to him out here, your mother. When in all actuality, we really don't know. Oh, talk. Come on, come on. We think we know. Come on, come on, come on with me, Peter. Let's go. We really don't know. We think that we know. And that's the very reason that some of us were on the side of the road. Because when we thought we knew, uh, we really didn't know uh, we got to know the difference uh, between knowing and thinking uh, knowing and feeling uh, knowing and wondering you don't know uh, but you think uh, because thinking uh, and knowing uh, is two different things and when you get a mix up you end up on the side of the wall side of the road if we if we keep it real oh keep it real with me uh, a lot of us do the same thing with our lives Ooh, I ain't think I was gonna get too many people talking to me but I, a lot of us do the same thing with our lives we running on E and and and, and just like our cars we, we claim we know I know me I, I know me. You running on fumes. God sends somebody to you to ask you if you're all right, Greg. And you lie to them in their face. We've come accustomed to it. We've grown it to be the normal thing. They say, are you all right? And you look them in their face and say, I'm all right. I'm fine. Know what you need to do is say something ain't right. I'm having a problem. I need some help. We, the, the powerful but true thing is we just like the car in the aspect of getting the gas the car can't take itself to get gas the car can't take itself to get gas you got You got to take yourself to get filled up because you think that you know, but one thing that is a for sure thing is you running on fumes, you running on E, 
You can lie all you want to. You can put on a facade. You can gush up your appearance. But it don't change the fact that you're running on here. And you need to get to the filling station. You need to get filled up. And God is your filling station when you need more gas. Shut up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like preaching now, Peasy. It's Peasy fault. He pushed me from the start. See, you need to get some gas. But I got a question for you, Miracles of Faith. Got a question for you, Tanisha. Got a question for you, Karen. Got a question for y'all. Is there anybody? In this house that you came here today not just for another church service I thought I had a praise in here you came here today not for another church service but is there anybody you came in here ready willing and wanting to be filled by God I come here for just another prayer and scripture just another praise and worship just another word from the Lord but I came here lacking wanting and ready to be filled by God You came to the filling station when you need gas. You don't go to Lowe's. When you need gas, you don't go the food line. Oh, when you need gas, you don't go to to Golden Corral. But when you need gas in your car, you go to the gas station. The type of gas that you like. Because if you like me, I'll just put anything in my car. God ain't just going to put anything inside of you. But he's going to fill you with the joy that you're lacking. He's going to fill you with the peace that you're lacking. He's going to fill you with just uh, what you need. Lift your hands up and say, Father! Glory! Uh, uh, Watch this. Uh, And and, 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 and you won't. Uh, I need to know there's somebody that won't what the Bible says. In the second verse, do you want what the Bible says in the second verse? It says, it filled all the house. And it filled all the house. I gave you a chance to, to seal it with a praise. I'll give you another chance. Please, I'll give him another chance. Is there anybody in here? You want what the scripture says? And it filled all. And it filled all. And it filled all of the house. Lift your hands up and say, Fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Because if it fills the house, there's no way it can get to you because it's filled up in the house and you in the house. It's just like fire shut up in your bones. If you're in the house, you're going to get touched by the fire. If you're in the swimming pool, you're going to get touched by the water. Well, if you're in the house and God is filling the house, there's no way you can't get what you came here for. There's no way you can't get what God has for you. There's no way that you can't get this peace, this joy, this power, your answer, your healing, your deliverance. There's no way you can't get it. Cause God stabbing it up and filling the house. The 
other thing is, you will receive everything. When, when the house get filled, Greg and Teresa, you're going to get everything you need. See, because is there anybody that's like me? To one, I need more than one thing. I thought there was somebody else in the house. I said, is there anybody like me? Chairman, I don't just need one thing, but I need more than one thing. I need something for my mind. I need something for my heart. I need something for my children. Need something for my bank account. Need something for my health. I need more than one thing. But when God touches your life, when God feels, wait a minute, hold on. See, the difference between us and getting filled by God is powerful. Is you can go to the gas station. Ha! Praise the, I need about five praise to hit this hard with me, please. But you don't have enough money to fill your take up. Woo. Am I in the house? You can go to the gas station. And all you got is 10 on 3. All you got, watch this, is it's 13 on 5. And $2 out of the 13 was all changed. Huh? I done did it before. God knows. I wish the gas prices could go back to when I was a teenager. $10 got you half a tank. $20 filled you up. Damn, $20. Gas ain't be like, really? <laughs> Doc, I need more than that. Are you serious? Like, like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> By the time you go to Virginia Beach and back, I'm calling you again. I need what I need. I need, pre I need Petro. Feed me. You want to run me all around town but don't want to feed me. You don't even want to take care of me but don't even want to feed me. Don't give me no oil change. Don't get my tires rotate. Don't do nothing. Woo. Say, same way our bodies is. We'll take care of the body and then wonder why it's broke down on the side of the road. Because you don't take care of it. I hear you, Lord. <laughs> Y'all about to get weak. My triangle been going on in my car for about uh, four days because I need to take it to get service. I'm going to call them on Monday, Lord, I promise. That won't in my notes. I was trying to stay away from that, Greg, but I got to come from a real place. <laughs> because, see, see, God just doesn't give you a uh, uh, little bit. God, ooh, I need five praises to yell at me, Tanisha. Uh, God just doesn't give you enough. Uh, but is there anybody that's a witness to this? Uh, God gives you more than enough. Uh, he gives you exceedingly uh, and abundantly uh, above all uh, that you can ask uh, or that you can thank uh, God uh, for five praises uh, that don't mind jumping up uh, and praising him. Uh, I got a prophecy for you. God's got a surprise. I said God's got a surprise just for you. If you need it, jump up on your feet and give him 10 seconds of praise for your surprise. You got a surprise. Come on. You don't hear me. You better start thanking him in advance. Lift your hands up and tell him thank you for my surprise that's coming. The surprise ain't what you pray for. You gonna get that. The surprise ain't what you ask for. You gonna get that. But you gonna get more than what you pray for. You gonna get more than what you ask for. Somebody tell him thank you Lord. Do you know why? Uh, 
because when God fills you, he gives you the overflow. Somebody say overflow, overflow. Come on, man. Come say overflow. Say overflow. Say overflow. Say overflow. Overflow. I ask you again because you sit in the house. We want God to fill this house today, right? So, so now, the question is, how do we get God to fill this house? <laughs> Can I tell you? First things first, I know who you are when I say this. We can't just come to consume but not contribute. Because, because see, the Bible says in the first verse, they were all on one of them. It said they were all. It didn't say. It didn't say the leaders. It didn't say the pastor. It didn't say the Christians. It said all. That means saved, unsaved. If you in here, we all on one accord. God gonna touch you just like He gonna touch me. Right. So, so they because see, okay. Watch this. You, we just can't consume but not contribute. Don't forget this. I'm about to drop a nugget on you. <laughs> The way to consume is to contribute. When you contribute, then you can consume. It's called the boomerang effect. When you throw it out, God will throw it back. When you throw out a hallelujah for your sister right there, because she looked down and out and depressed. But you got a praise for you and for her. God will throw back a blessing back to you. It's called the boomerang effect. But what happens a lot of times is, woo, we ain't got nobody like that in here today, I don't, I don't think. What happens a lot of times is, people don't want to cooperate. <laughs> When you don't want to cooperate, that means you want to do what you want to do. Because you've got, you've got selfish intents and motives. Uh, but God said, no, 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 no. You, it's not cooperate. Instead, you need to change the wrong C word. You need to change it to corporate. Come on with me. You need to change it to corporate. Because see, the way, are you listening to me? You said you want God to fill the house. One sure way God will fill the house is when there's a corporate praise. What does that mean? That means that she starts praising him over here. Greg starts praising him over here. He start praising him. Start praising him in the middle. Start praising him on the side and in the back. Praising him up here. Praising him there. When, when, when that happens, because when the praises go up, the blessings come down. God said he inhabits the praises of his people. So when you can get with somebody and have a corporate praise, have a corporate worship, God has to respond in a corporate manner. What does that mean? That means if you're praising the mic, you're going to get what you're asking for in the house. But if Tawana praising him for something different, she going to get what she need in the house. You're getting it, Trudis. If you pray, you're going to get what you need. You're going to get and what happens is I might not be praising him for the new job but because Trina is that means it's in the house see God will cover all of us Henry up with his glory <laughs> that's my word glory See, I knew she had it up there. God, God, God will cover all of us at the same time with his glory. Watch this. I prove it to you. I'm preaching this word right now to all of you. And it's probably hitting all of you in a different way as I'm preaching it at one time. Why? Because all of you need something different. And all of you are different. But is it it great? that we serve an awesome God that can give all of us what we need at 
at the same time, he ain't got to tell you, Tanisha, wait a minute, I'm dealing with Trina. He ain't got to tell you, Tanisha, wait a minute, I'm dealing with mother. He ain't got to tell you, Mike, wait a minute, I'm dealing with pizza. But at the same time, when we corporately give God the praise, give God the worship, he blesses us, he heals us, he blesses us, he delivers us, he blesses us, he brings us through all at the same time. So how do we get God to fill this house? Second thing is, praise or talk to me, help you pass out. <laughs> All of you have to be here. What am I saying? I'm not talking about as in people who are not physically here right now, Jamarin. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you got to all be here. All be here is not talking about all of you. It's talking about it's talking about all of just you. You catch what I'm saying? See, there's a lot of us right now. Your body's here, but your mind ain't. Ooh, that was a good one, little. There's a lot of us. There's a lot of us here, Mike. Our bodies are here, but our heart ain't. How you gonna expect God to heal the heart? And you ain't even got the heart in the place where he's feeling it at. How are you going to expect God to fill your mind and you, and look, 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 you talking about fill your gas tank, but, but, but your car at home. You know, that don't make no sense. You, you got to bring what you need to the table. And God will honor what you bring and he'll fill it. I don't think you're catching what I'm throwing. I didn't say he'll touch it. I didn't say he'll, 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 he'll impact. I said he'll fill it. Woo. I'm with you, mother. I had to do the Ric Flair too. Because the first verse says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all on one accord in one place. Ooh, are, you, are you catching what I'm throwing? They were all on one accord in one place. See, a lot of people want to equate that to physical place. No, 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 no. Uh, you got to equate that to the place where God would have for you to be at. I got to be here, but my heart got to be here. I got to be here, but my mind I ain't got to be here. I got to be here, but I brought my worries with me. I got to be here, but I brought my trouble with me. I got to be here, but I brought my storm with me. Why? Because God is going to heal you right where you at. God ain't going to heal. Hold on. God ain't going to heal the facade. God ain't going to hear the masquerade mask on your face. No, God wants you to take that off and come to him. What the Bible says, just as you are. Because I'll say this real nice. And Joel Olstein. Is there anybody? Peasy, I'll talk to you. Because they don't want to praise him today. But if they really think about this. They'll have no choice. <laughs> Jump up, say something, do something. Is there anybody in here? <laughs> you a <are> witness <laughs> that he'll meet you <laughs> at the point of your knees. Watch this. He'll meet you right at the point of your knees. You need the money. Give him the praise. You need the new job or career. Give him the praise. You need your family to be worked out. Give him the praise. You need your body healed. Give him the praise. 
whatever you need praise will bring it to you I can't hear you I said whatever you need praise will bring it to you is there anybody in here you ever tried it for yourself your body was hurt mother but you still came in praising his name and before you left out he healed your body you didn't know how the bills was going to get paid but before you left your bank account had some surprises in it before you left God touched your family. God touched your heart. God touched your trouble. Is there anybody that knows him as a deliverer? Say it! So how do we get God to fill the house? First, I gave you the first two things. I gave you this third one right quick. It's a bonus one. Well, I'll tell you what, this will be 2B. We got to, we got to make sure the atmosphere is conducive for deliverance, for healing, for blessings. Y'all see, y'all ain't ready. We, we got to make sure the atmosphere, see, let me help y'all to understand the power of atmosphere. The devil tends to think he's the prince of the atmosphere. But the reason he dwells in the atmosphere is because I just told you life and death is in the power of your tongue. See, when you think it, that's one thing. When you say it, it now has a life. Words have life. And when it comes out of your mouth, now the devil can twist it or he can't touch it. He likes to play around in the atmosphere. But that's why it's very important that we make this atmosphere conducive for healing, deliverance, breakthroughs, answers, miracles, all of that. And the way we do it is you don't put nothing negative in the atmosphere. Can I tell you something? All throughout the week, somebody in here praying. I didn't. I didn't came in here before. Trina all the way at the altar, just going in. I didn't came in here before. She's sitting in the chair, just praying. I didn't came in here before. He doing that, walking around by himself, saying, "Thank you, Jesus." Just walking around. I didn't came in here before. One time I came here before. Shaw was speaking in tongues, just walking up and down. I just, I just said, "Bless the Lord," and walked right out. And there's a million times they could tell you they didn't came in here, and I'm in here doing something. But why? Because the atmosphere has to be right. I love it when pastors and preachers come in here, bishops. They come in here and they say, hey, "This is an easy place to preach at, man. It just, it just is free in here." See, see, there you go, Rev. I see you. It's freedom in here. I said, "Yeah," because I don't do none of that judging. I don't like clicks. I don't like all that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like the little gangs and the clubs. I don't, I don't like that mess. I, I want you to come in here and know that you at a hospital. Why? You go to the hospital not to say hi. You go to the hospital because you got a situation. You're trying to get some answers. You're trying to get some stuff sold. You're trying to get some buy. And, and then watch this. Sometimes you don't even need answers. Why? Because they already told you what was wrong. So sometimes you go there to get treatment. Woo. Sometimes you go there. Oh, I need a praiser to talk to me if you're ready for this. Sometimes you go there because you need surgery. That's what this place is. It ain't nothing but a spiritual hospital. If you got a problem, come on in here. If you got a habit, come on in here. And you shouldn't be judged. And you shouldn't be critiqued. And you shouldn't be analyzed. But you should be loud. And the spirit of freedom dwells in the atmosphere. Because God is the ultimate surgeon. He's got heart transplant. He's got a mind transplant. He's got something for you. Lift your hands up and tell him, Thank you, Which leads me to my third point. 
how do we get the house filled? We have to be tired of having church. I know the folk. They don't want to talk to me, real. We got to be tired of having church, Greg. See, see, church is my name, Joe. Jump we, up if I say this. I'm serious. I just need to know where you're at. I, I'm tired of church. I want a worship experience. Is there anybody like me? I just need to know where you're at. I, I, I want a worship experience. I, I want a worship impact service. You know why? Because see, church, come on, I'm going to preach right quick. Because church got church folk. Church folk get on my nerves a lot of times because they're the biggest hypocrites on this side of heaven. But worship experience got worshipers. See, worshipers ain't going ain't to talk about you. We're going to pray for you. Worshipers ain't going to judge you. We're going to intercede for you. A worshiper ain't gonna ain't gonna ain't gonna talk about you and stab you in your back. No, 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 no. We gonna praise God with you before you get it. Cause, cause church folk want to have an intimate time with the pastor so they can tell him what they want. No, a worshiper wants intimate time with God so they can tell him what they want. I don't want to have church. I want to have a worship experience. Because church folk, because the church, oh, talk to me in here. The church, if it ain't got nothing else, Rev, it's got religion. But a worship experience has a relationship. I have a company with God. I feel his presence. I talk to him. Is there anybody in this house? You want a worship experience and a company relationship with God? See, church service, they got to ask you afterwards when you get home, how was church? You know what my friend told me? <laughs> my friend told me, he said, I've watched enough of the videos for Miracles of Faith. I don't have to ask you how was church. He said, I haven't seen a bad service yet. He, he said, he said I, I don't have to ask you. He said, seriously, man. I don't have to ask you. See, and that's what happens when you have a worship experience. You don't have to ask me how is church. Because <laughs> you see how I went to church and you saw how I came back. You don't have to ask me anything, but you see it on me. You don't have to ask me how was it. You see the change in my life. You see I went there. I ain't go empty, but I came back with more. Is there anybody that you want a worship experience where you get filled and come back with more? Uh, you know why? Oh, this is a good one, Mike. I feel the rig flag coming. This is a good one. This is a good one. Chairman, do me a favor. Open up that door. Because if y'all don't catch this and go off on this, I'm. y'all know the good ones. I'm going to dip. I'm going to leave. If y'all don't catch this point, this is a good one, Tawana. Uh, Karen, I worked on this for me. Rev, when I got this one at the house, I ain't going to lie, mother. I was sitting down and, and, and my feet, woo, start sitting. This is a good one. Because see, see, oh, oh, are you ready? Church operates in feelings. F E E L. I-N-G-S Worship experience Operates in feeling F-I-L I ain't got to lead you man I ain't got to lead I can stay Yeah they got that one See Church operates in feelings Feel it. Say, come on, girl. I told you, I missed you, Henrietta. Henrietta preaches with me. And, and, and the reason I stay Henrietta preaches with me is because we're visual type of people. 
See, feelings, not feelings. That's what the church operates is in, in their feelings. Oh, oh, talk to me. I, I don't shout because I don't feel like it. I'm not saying anything because I don't feel like it. I, I ain't smiling because I don't feel like it. But a worshiper <laughs> can, have, can have all hell going on in their life. <laughs> Just because of the fact that they know who their Savior is and who they came to worship, they ain't worried about what's going on. They worried about what he got going on because they know that if he brought them to the storm, he's working on an antidote. They know that if he brought them to the situation, he's working on the answer. They know that he's working for your good. He's to bless you, it's about to heal you, it's about to deliver you. Somebody say, ah. Oh, I gotta go. I'm gonna say something for next week, uh, but I got to give you this one. <laughs> How do we get the place filled to this? If this message is blessing you, somebody say hallelujah. Oh, it's about to bless you some more. Everything can't go and some things need to be replaced. Watch this. Come here. Come here. Number four is everything can't go. Some things need to be replaced. See, I ain't read the first chapter, but, but the first chapter in the 15th through about the 22nd talks about how Judas is replaced by Matthias. Can I tell a praise or something? Only if you'll get excited about this, because it's coming to your life. That thing, that place, and most importantly, that person. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That thing, that place, and that person for a praiser that'll yell at me. Because you know this to be true. I said that thing, that place, and that person for every praiser that'll yell at me is replaceable. So, uh, see, see. Trina, you'll like this one. There's some other ones in here. You're going to like this one. Tawana, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I said that thing, that place, and most important, that person is replaceable. What, what Beyonce said, you must not know about me. Huh? Ain't that what she said? And that's how you got to be. You are replaceable. Don't think you irreplaceable. You are replaceable. Ha, to prove it to you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ha, to prove it to you. I got to say this so they can hear it, Peasy. Because somebody going to yell and scream in here. Ha, you, you cried when they left, but dance when God replaced them with the right one. Tell the devil, and you got to say it. You got to say it with your finger, with your attitude. Say, you must not know about me. You, oh, oh. you cried when you got fired from the job. <laughs> but you danced when he brought you the right career. You, you, you didn't get that house because it won't meant for you. You didn't get that job because it won't meant for you. You didn't get that raise because it won't meant for you. You didn't get that position because it won't meant for you. But you dance and you praise because the whole time God has something just for you. Somebody say, just for me. Watch this. Judas, Judas had a title. He was the treasurer. Uh, uh, Matthias almost comes out of nowhere with no title. Uh, 
Ooh, what does that mean? The ones with the title are not the only ones that's going to get this. You just got to be at the right. The ones with the title. The ones with the letters behind their name and the titles in front of their name are not just the only people that's going to get this. What am I talking about when I say this? This is the very thing that God has just for you. Is there anybody in this house? You can wave your hand at me because you believe that God has something for you. God ain't just going to leave you there, but he's got something for you. And no! Wait, 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 wait. See, because it ain't about title. It's about the right people doing the right thing at the right time. Ooh. And I'm ready to preach now, PZ. I'm ready to preach now, PZ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give, give me them highs and make it scream, PZ. Thank you. Listen, I said I'm ready to preach now. If y'all get this, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Per my time, I got to go. <laughs> See, what happens is uh, when you're at the right place, uh, at the right time, you get the right thing. Because uh, when that happens, uh, it creates a powerful word. Uh, the word is suddenly. Somebody scream suddenly. The great thing about suddenly uh, is when the spirit uh, really falls. Uh, it falls suddenly. Wait a minute. Uh, the spirit can't be timed. Uh, and it can't be timed. Wait, 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 watch, 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 watch. I'll talk to you, chairman. And see if they catch it with their praise. The spirit can't be timed. And since it can't be timed, the thing we should get excited about is that not only can it not be timed, being that it can't be timed, it can't be manipulated. It can't be manipulated. You can't make the spirit come. But can I tell you something about that word on the screen? Suddenly is a blessing. Oh, Y'all don't hear me. Rev, they ain't want to preach with me today. I'm going to preach by myself. Please, let's preach. I said, suddenly is a blessing. You know how I know that it's a blessing? It's because there's been times that you were told it'll come to you in such and such a time. It'll come to you in two weeks. It'll come to you in a month. It'll come to you five hours from now. But when suddenly comes your way, I said when suddenly comes your way, it don't come two hours from now. It don't come an hour from now. It don't come 24 hours from now. But it comes now. Is there anybody? Maybe you, maybe you can't understand when I get excited and I scream. Is there anybody? You need a suddenly blessing. Sound like about five people. Is there anybody? I talk to the microphones. Need a suddenly blessing. <laughs> I, I, I'm talking about Tish. I'm talking about that that kind of blessing. Ooh. Oh, yell at me if you want this. That kind of blessing that comes without warning. Ooh. That kind of blessing that comes unexpectedly. That kind of blessing that's just what the doctor ordered. That kind of blessing that meets your needs. That kind of blessing that brings about an instant change. That kind of blessing that has immediately attached to it. That kind of blessing. Hold on.
You've been waiting. <laughs> can, I, can I prophesy to you? But you got to jump up and catch it with your praise. I'm trying to get you blessed. I ain't trying to give you praise aerobics. I don't care if you shout, don't shout, or whatever. I'm going to get mine. Better get yours. I'm going to do my part. I'm doing my part right now. You got to do your part to get what you need. Can I bless you? You got to jump up. You got to praise him. You got to jump up. You got, you got to praise him. And hit it hard. Hit it hard. Make it last. You got to jump up. You got to praise him. Watch this. Don't, don't miss it. You, you've been waiting. Can I prophesy to you? I'm telling you, God gave me this prophecy for the house. He gave it to me last night. And as I was going over the message today, that was all that kept on sticking out to me. Uh, uh, but you got to jump up and catch it. You can't sit down. You got to jump up. And, 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 and it's a reason why you can't sit down. Because when you jump up, that's signaling that you just got out of what you was in. It's a symbolization. You catching what I'm throwing to you? Okay. Uh, I'm prophesying to you. You get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. That's on you. you you've been waiting. But the Spirit told me to tell you it's coming sooner than you think. No, don't just hold it. Go, go, go. Come on, preach with me. Preach with me. If you wanted to come and you believe that it's coming sooner than you think, give God the praise right now. You've been in the situation. You better give him the praise. Come on, come on, come on. Is there anybody in this place? You don't need the money to come a month from now, but you need it suddenly. Is there anybody? I said again, you don't need the money to come a month from now, but you need it. Is there anybody? You don't need your body healed two weeks from now. You don't need your parents. You don't need your family. You don't need your friend's body healed two months from now. But you need it healed suddenly. Is there anybody? You don't need a way out of no way to come five hours from now. But you need it suddenly. Is there anybody? You need the breakthrough to come now suddenly. Is there anybody? You don't need the answer to come by Friday. You need the answer. Suddenly. Uh, is there anybody? You need to change. Uh, I said to change. You need to change. You need to change in your life to happen. Uh, suddenly. Lift up your hands. Throw back your head and say suddenly. Say suddenly. Say suddenly. Ah, suddenly. I need my family healed. Suddenly. I need the way. Huh? I don't know way. Huh? Suddenly. I need the answer. Suddenly. Somebody scream. Suddenly. 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 Here's the thing that I love about suddenly. It's out of human control. She got, I heard her all the way back there screaming, preach it. I said the thing that I like about suddenly is Joe is out of human control. Pizza, let's go for round five. This is the last one. And because it's out of human control, what does that mean? They can hate on you, but they can't 
stop your suddenly. They can talk about you, but they can't stop your suddenly. They can judge you, but they can't stop your suddenly. You got a suddenly coming to you. Somebody say suddenly. Somebody say suddenly. Ah, suddenly. The thing I love about suddenly in verse 2, it said suddenly didn't come by itself real, but suddenly came with some might. Suddenly didn't come by itself, but it came with something. The second verse of the second chapter says, watch this, watch this, and suddenly they came a sound. I can't hear you. It says suddenly there came a sound. If you want your suddenly to come, I dare you to lift up a sound to bring your suddenly down to you. Lift up a sound and heaven will bring the suddenly down to you. It's called glory. Glory, 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 glory! Lift up a sound. I'm done. Book is closed. Lift up a sound, and it'll bring your suddenly to you. Lift up a sound, and it'll bring the glory to you lift up a sound and it'll bring the healing to your family lift up a sound and it'll bring the answer to you lift up a sound and it'll bring the way out of no way to you lift it up lift it up lift up a sound Lift up a sound in this place. No matter who ain't doing what, you lift up a sound. No matter who ain't saying what, you lift up a sound. A sound from heaven will come down. It's called the glory. Ah! Help us to keep on going, God. Help us to keep on going, God. Sometimes it gets hard, but help us to keep on going, God. Sometimes we don't see clearly, but help us to keep on going, God. For when we go, God, we know that suddenly, without warning, without knowing, we're going to be out of it. And we thank you and we bless you right now. We bind the devil from talking to us right now. We bind him from putting our heads down. And we say, come in in a mighty way, oh God. Come in in a mighty way, oh God. Come in in a mighty way, oh God. 